You know, sometimes there's a man. Let's pick up some trash, Let's pick up some trash. All right. Let's, and I don't want to say a hero, because what's a hero, really? Yeah. Pick up almost everything except the kitchen sink. Sometimes there's a man. Channel 2's 9 o'clock news. Well, he's just the man. He just kind of fits right in there with his time and his place. That's Ernie Bjorkman in Colorado. Before you call us, we will have Star Trek in its entirety right now. Ernie, first and foremost, I just want to thank you for all that you've done for me here at News 2. You've truly been a mentor and a friend. This was always my favorite time of school, snack time. And a father figure to me these past nine months. Doesn't get any better than that. I want to wish you all the best in your future career as a vet tech. Two minutes left. And we will truly miss you here at News 2. Good luck, Ernie. Slow down. We got men working up here. Ernie, I can't believe you're leaving me. Don't leave me, please. Stay. Stay a little longer. I'm working for T-Rex today. I can't believe it's been eight years from the day I walked in the door. You and I have been sitting on that set. I'm going to miss working with you day in and day out. You are an encyclopedia when it comes to Colorado. You're going to get run over. Come on. Make it a lot easier on yourself. You know it. I'm going to miss your bare feet. Most people don't know. Ernie grew up with sand in his toes, and he never got rid of that feeling. Hi. How are you? I'm just going to miss your overall presence. You have been a great, great friend, and we'll miss you, buddy. Hi, welcome to the Krispy Kreme. Good morning. Those of us from News 2 this morning would like to add our regards to our colleague and our good friend, Ernie Bjorkman. I was telling that lady to come through the drive-thru. Yeah, he's been more than just a favorite in Colorado for the past. There was excitement in town. 75 years. 75 years. <laughs> Give him a break. He's leaving. I cook these personally myself. We would like to add our own tribute, our salute to Colorado's best barefoot newscaster. <sighs> We're going to miss you so much, Ernie. Guys, guys, don't oh, forget Chris. about me. You got to jump in here. I'm going to miss Ernie, too. He was a friend. He was a mentor. And I, I hope he'll still let me hang out with him. After all, Ernie, I, I always say happy trails and and hang ten, buddy. <laughs> hang ten. It's Mimi, and Mimi is quite big. Dear Ernie, we've had some great years covering the news of Colorado together. And we haven't been just colleagues, we've been friends. <laughs> this is great. We've laughed, we've cried, we've laughed until we cried together. I cried alone when you left me for a younger anchor. But no tears this time because you have important work to go do. Well, we're having trouble getting the rock out. Uh, doctor thinks that it's uh, gone down into the intestines. So. I promise when we're in that neck of the woods, we'll be sure to look up you and Susan. Thanks for all your years of wonderful work. Love, Bertha. Uh, this delicious looking stuff. Uh, Ernie, it's been an honor professionally, but even more so, it's been a lot of fun. I'm a cup of coffee and I'm all set. You make us all laugh in the newsroom every single day. Come right over here, buddy. And we've all learned so much from you as well. We're going to miss you a whole lot, but you know how people love those animal stories. This is good for them because it's strengthening yeah. the shoulder. I'm thinking we can get you back on the air that way. Good luck and you will be badly missed. That trunk grabbed you. Ernie, I hope this veterinarian thing goes well because I'm already getting emails from some of our viewers asking, do you think Ernie knows anything about animals? For example, one viewer wrote and said, do you think Ernie knows anything about horses? And in person, this is number 0134. And I said, of course he does. He's been beating dead ones for years. I think I want it. Can I say, Ernie, I'm going to miss you so much. You have taught me so much about this business and how to be. And I just look up to you. You're a legend in this business. And it is going to feel so weird having this chair empty next to me. I don't know why I'm so sad now. I wish you all the luck and uh, really going to miss you. Is he gone yet? You know, I was thinking by now. I mean, we've all been kind of sitting around waiting. Now This thing's gone on long enough. He's been gone like I two mean, hours for dinner. I know, and we're talking about it for a week. I mean, for goodness sakes, go already, will you?